Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I um, wanted to jump on here today because I was sharing yesterday how I struggle with analysis paralysis, which has to do with having this huge mom mental load where we have so much going on. We have so many things we're trying to manage and we're trying to navigate on what to work on, what to focus on, what to prioritize um, and learning how to say no to certain things. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a glimpse into my, my morning routine. I did this actually earlier, but I wanted to do it again. Um, I know there's power in repetition. There's power in doing things over and over and over again to become an expert, a master at it. Um, and that's what I'm teaching moms to do. It's like one time is not enough. Two times, three times is not enough. This takes a lot of practice and it takes, um, you know, getting better and mastering it in order for us to really master our schedule to become super productive. So I wanted to walk you through how I manage my mornings um, and my weekly to-dos so that I don't get overwhelmed. Um, and yes, I do still get overwhelmed. I do suffer with analysis paralysis, but I have set skills and strategies that I've been using for years that always keep me grounded and get me back on track when I'm suffering with through those things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much I need to do. I don't know where to start. I feel like I can't breathe. So I'm just gonna walk you through guys what I literally do so I don't get overwhelmed. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of my, my little notepad here and I apologize, it's gonna be probably upside down, but don't worry, I'll give you guys a glimpse into it after. I'll, I'll show you guys once I'm ready to, to show you. So yesterday I did a, like a mini brain dump and um, this is kind of like a clean version of it. Um, usually it's a lot messier than this. So um, what, what a brain dump is essentially you writing down everything that's on your mind, right? A lot of times, again, like with moms, um, we have a lot of things that we're managing, right? So first thing that I always do with moms when we sit down and we, t and we, and we work together is um, I have them write down everything that's just ruminating, that's just rotating in their brain, right? Clean the dishes, <laughs> clean dishes, throw load of laundry in, right? Um, fix, that, fix that cabinet uh, door. That's literally one of the things on my list is like, I have to fix one of our kitchen cabinets. So I'm just gonna throw it on there. Fix cabinet kitchen door, okay? Um, let's see, what else do we need? Do I need to clean the toilets? <laughs> clean toilets. Uh, bring, kit, bring my son to school. Speaking of, let me see, okay. Bring my son to school. Right? Um, get my workout in. So get workout. I got a meal prep, right? So you can see how this is gonna go. It's just gonna, it's just gonna start, it's, you're just gonna start listing everything that's on your, on your mind, right? Again, like this is, these are things that we are constantly running through our mind, right? Like maybe I need to make an appointment for my son, make a um, primary uh, PCP uh, appointment, Mommy. right? Primary care doctor appointment. Mommy. So, Mommy. yep. What? School? Yes, you have school, buddy. So hold on, buddy. So the first step that I always take, like I said, is, is this huge thing called, and, and I know many people have heard it before. We've done it in school. We've done it when we're writing our papers, right? We have to do a brain dump in order for us to get all our thoughts on a paper, right? This is the first step. It's like the, the most freeing and liberating activity you can do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. Like the more often we do this, the, the, the less of a mom mental load we carry, right? So we write down everything we have on our mind, right? Including, shoot, I haven't, I haven't scheduled a date night. I haven't, you know, all the things that we're, we're running out through our mind. So what I like to do once I do that, it's gonna be all messy, it's gonna be scribbles everywhere, blah, 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 right? Now, um, like I said, this is like the neat version of it. If you were to go back and rewrite the, the these items, what you wanna do is look at the ones that are like fall under similar categories. So for example, um, 
I made a list of all the things that I have to do for my house, house management, right? So I circled all these and these are like home house activities, house um, chores that I need to get done. I then listed all the things that I, um, that were in this category and this all falls under like spiritual goals. So spiritual goals for me and my family. So I listed that and I circled it and I put spiritual goals. Um, things for my business. So things that I have to get done for my business, right? So I put those in a list and then I circle it, right? So that's step number two, right? You want to first scribble everything down. Step number two, you want to then categorize each of those items. Um, after doing that, this is where it gets a little tricky. <laughs> and this is where most people struggle. Because they're like, great, I have all these things I need to do. How do I prioritize, right? Um, so I like to pull out some highlighters, right? And I mean, you can choose what you want to um, um, call these colors, right? Maybe uh, your pinks could be kind of like your reds, like these have to get done ASAP because this is like past due. Maybe uh, the orange is like, it's almost due, but it's, you know, I got some time. And then the yellow ones that were like, well, these can wait. These are not priorities, right? You get the idea? So let's pull up the pink one, which is our, like, let's say this is the red light. This is the one that this is past due. It's overdue. I need to get th this done ASAP. So what I like to do, go back to my list, okay? And I'll just skim through some of the things that I know I need to get done ASAP right um and let me just look through my list first i know i need to do these <laughs> uh let's see um i need to do that one and i'm looking through each of my categories so i'm not just sticking to one um and i'm looking through each of my categories to see which one i need to start with and then i can um all right, so let's say, I'm, and this is just kind of like a rough draft of this. First time you do it is, is not going to be perfect. Uh, so now I have picked what, what is a priority in each of my categories, okay? So what I like to do is, um, so I've set, so these are the ones that I have. So set goals with my kids, um, spiritual goals with my kids, sit down, um, I have to find my next two to four clients that I'm going to be working with. Um, I need to work out. I need to work out and that's on a daily basis But I just like to put that there anyways because again, you're letting go of everything on your mind um, I gotta clean my bathrooms and my showers. That's like overdue <laughs> and then um, Planning out my book, right? And, and I already started the book, but I need to continue working on it And so that's on my list because if I don't finish my book then I can't write out my my curriculum for my course and then I'm gonna I can't record my videos so as you can see I, I like to then categorize that so what I would then next the next step would be I would mark all the the orange ones and then I would mark the yellow ones okay and so this this sheet you don't want to get rid of you right you want to be you want to you can add to it you can erase I like to do this in pencil um, because pencil always, it just feels like, ooh, it's not permanent, you know? Um, I like to use pencil on everything, including my planner. I don't use, I barely use pens on anything because I like to erase and readjust. So, once I do that, because I know what my priorities are, I go into my planner. And so, now, this is where we have to get strategic we have to sit down we have to plan out our weeks we have to plan out our months and we're working backwards this is a whole process like this people think that being a mom leader being a, a, a matriarch being the the leader of the home is easy and it's not we have so many responsibilities we have so many things that we that are on the line for us um, that not a lot of people realize we're managing on a daily basis and so what, what ends up happening is a lot of us, we, we keep everything here. And we expect those things to get done because we're, we're just keeping it in here. But how successful are you gonna be if you're keeping all the things that you manage in here rather than on here? It's not gonna be very efficient, right? You're gonna forget things, things are gonna fall through the cracks, um, you're gonna get 
ill because you're stressing out all the time. You're not going to be able to sleep very well because you're, you're keeping all those things up in there, right? And a lot of times when I talk to moms and we get started, they, they rarely sleep because they have all these things they're managing constantly running through their mind. And, and then they wake up and it's the same thing. They never take the time to, to write things down, to plan it out, strategize, and organize their planner. So if we don't take this brain dump and this prioritizing and organizing and move it to then to our planner, then that brain dump is nothing. It, it's useless, right? We can't just take it from there and leave it there, right? That's great, right? That's what most people do. Most people write down their to-dos and that's it. But they never actually transfer into their actually daily to-dos, their daily life and their priorities and their um, goals and expectations for their weekly, for their, for their weekly stuff right and then they get behind and then they get overwhelmed and then they feel like a failure and then they feel like it's overwhelming and then people come along their way and start to ask hey can you help me with this hey can you help me with that hey can you can you come to this PTA meeting hey can you show up to this board meeting and because we haven't taken the time to prioritize our stuff and put it on paper and and set send time blocks it's, it's harder for us to say no because our planner is open. Our, our days are open when in reality it's not. And so if we're feeling overwhelmed and exhausted all the time, it all, it all comes back to this. It all comes back to this. A lot of times the reason why we are unable to set boundaries, expectations, why we, where we're behind on our goals why we can't catch up, why we say we don't have time for our self-care is because we don't set priorities and expectations for our day and we don't time block them. And so that what happens is other people come with their emergencies and make them your emergencies and you allow them to. And it's, this, it becomes this vicious cycle that we can't stop. So how do we stop it? We have to take control of our schedule. We have to take control of our goals. And we have to prioritize ourselves first before everyone else. Nobody's emergencies should be our emergency. That's their emergency. But unfortunately, we live in a world where it's everyone else's emergencies is ours all of a sudden. Because again, we never t sat down to set the priorities. So this next process of setting um, our planner and managing it and creating a plan every week, every month, um, and, and working backwards with our goals that's where I sit down with mamas and teach them how to do that on a daily basis so that they don't get overwhelmed. Like I said in the beginning, this does take practice. This takes intentionality. It takes consistency in order to master this. This isn't easy. It looks easy. But when you sit down and actually start doing it, you realize, shoot, man, this is not easy. This is harder than I thought. Like actually prioritizing my stuff and learning how to say no and how to set boundaries and actually creating the time blocks that matter to you. That's how you get things done. And that's how I've been able to help moms to increase their productivity by 30% and get an extra hour a day. What would an extra hour a day do for you? What would an extra hour a day do for you? What would you do with that extra hour? Would that be your self-care hour? Would that be the time that you can finally meal prep, that you can actually start taking care of yourself? There's too many moms, and I, and I, including myself, have done this, where I fall into the excuses that, well, I don't have time for me. When in fact, that's my fault. That's my fault. Because I, I didn't set priorities. I didn't set weekly and daily goals. And it seems like I don't need to do that because, well, I have the same schedule every single day. I work the Monday through Friday. I work a nine to five. Nothing changes that doesn't matter, it still applies to you. This still has to be done. Whether you work a nine to five, whether you run a business, whether you're a stay at home mom, it's still the same. We have to be disciplined. We have to create discipline around our schedule in order for us to be successful. So I challenge you that if you are struggling with that overwhelm, you're feeling like you don't have the time for yourself and you feel like you're all over the place, you feel like you can't sleep because you have so many things running through your mind, that's called the mom mental load. I encourage you to watch this video from the beginning 
and do this activity because it's mind blowing how much stress is relieved, relieved when we do this. And not just once or twice, but on a daily basis. Every time I'm feeling that analysis paralysis, I can't make a decision, I can't move forward, I know it's because I haven't done this. I've missed out, I haven't done it in a while. And so that's what happened to me this week. Hey, we, fall, we all fall off track, guys. I'm not perfect, I'm human being too. And so, but because I know that this works, I go back to it and I was like, oh shoot, I haven't done my brain dump. Shoot, I haven't prioritized my brain dump list. Shoot, I haven't put it into my schedule. And then boom, you do it. Now, obviously there's still more work to be done by then because once you put in your planner, how do you stick to it, right? Those are other, some other tricks that I teach moms how to do. So I hope this is helpful for you ladies. Um, if it is, share it with other moms. For those moms that are feeling overwhelmed, if you're struggling with the mom mental load, you don't know how to get started with that list of to-dos, uh, you feel like you're always forgetful, um, you can't sleep because you always have all those things you're managing on a daily basis in your mind, please share this with those moms. Or even just you, share, just save this video. Trust me when I say, these, these small little things that I did in my schedule, in my daily life, really started to impact my ability to stay productive and not get overwhelmed and feel like I'm making a difference and be able to breathe again. So I encourage those mamas that are feeling that way, save this video, take some notes, don't just sit here and watch. I promise you that these, these tactics really do work. Um, I've used them time and time again and for the moms that I train and teach who use it consistently, who do not give up, who master these skills, they, they see a difference in their life. So I wanna encourage you to do the same. And if you want more information about my mom academy coming this fall for systems like this, where we dig deeper into our planners and, and figure out how to master our daily life, guys, it's gonna be transforming. This is what moms have needed for centuries, right? It's not just about being a freaking boss and cleaning dishes and, and doing our laundry and folding and, and, and having the perfect uh, organization system in our home there's other things we manage and so hopefully I can inspire you to to think outside the box and and be willing to increase your productivity become a master at your planner and your schedule in order for you to really start growing and scaling because scaling is not just for business owners the scaling is is for everyone and we'll talk about that in our, our mom academy anyways so let me let you guys go have an amazing day i'll see you guys soon if you guys have any questions about this video just comment below shoot me a message whatever you want to do i'm here as an open book guys this is what i do on a daily basis this is what i love doing i love teaching training coaching moms uh, so that they can overcome that overwhelm all right guys have an amazing day i'll see you guys soon